former Marine, and currently he is the president of the um, Sacramento Republican Assembly, Grant Givens, who's going to lead us on the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Ron. And I knew that as a former Marine, we would not need to be called or asked with the ahead of time. I Thank think that as a patriot, that it, you know that I'm, it's, it's common knowledge that I I have tremendous respect for our armed forces, but the Marines have something special in my heart. My so, name. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. At this point, I would like to call the chairman of the Sacramento Republican Party, who is going to give welcome remarks, uh, a very good friend and a member of CRA, the Sacramento RA, Sue Blake. So will you please give her a warm welcome? Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody, to Sacramento County. I hope you are... Um, uh, I hope you're all spending lots of money here. Uh, uh, I am a, a state worker, not to be confused with a state employee, because I actually work. Uh, and I work for uh, uh, well, I work for the State Board of Equalization. Does anybody know what the State Board of Equalization does? Raises taxes and gasoline. They do. My counterpart over here, uh, Tom, we also we, uh, we work as tax counsels to a uh, couple of conservative Republican members of the state BOE. But one of the many jobs of the State Board of Equalization is to collect and, re and uh, organize the sales tax. So they do a lot of business audits and make sure that the sales tax is properly paid, etc. I know if you own a business, you never want to deal with the the BOE. But at any rate, the reason I bring that up is because every time you go outside around here and you buy something, a little bit of that sales tax goes to our county. <laughs> and like most counties, um, Sacramento County is, is struggling like most of them, so please buy lots of things here, go out and get some goodies, buy all your food here, make sure it's hot and taxable so that the county gets a little money. <laughs> but as I, I uh, like to quote uh, Ron Neering, our former chairman, he says, you know, when you don't win an election, it's not your fault as a volunteer club or a central committee. You know, we don't necessarily get to pick the candidates. We don't get to figure out how the money gets spent. We don't get to organize the precinct operation. We don't get to do a whole lot of those things. A lot of that is on the candidates. So when those candidates don't win, we can take some of the responsibility, but we can't fault ourselves. The, best, the most important thing we can do, brush ourselves off, get back out there, and start looking to elect more Republicans. At any rate, that's my quick update. Thank you very much for coming out. I hope you have a good time here. I ordered up good weather. <laughs> That's nice. It's temperate. You can stand outside and not freeze. So enjoy yourselves for the rest of the convention, and thank you very much.